Are you sick of other people making excuses, rationalizing their behavior, never taking responsibility for their actions? They do things, they can never accept it. They can never even admit their part in it. Does that ever happen to you? Do you have a hard time accepting responsibility, acknowledging your mistakes, your inadequacies, all the excuses that you are making on a daily basis or however often that get in the way of you doing what you want to be doing or that cause friction in your relationships with other people because they are always making excuses. I think that's a pretty common thing for many people. In today's reading from the Daily Stoic, we are looking at June 29th. No excuses. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Starts With Me channel. I am a therapist, a mindfulness teacher, or someone in long-term recovery from addiction and mental illness. And the purpose of this channel is to help you increase your capacity for well-being. If you find this helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can support the channel on Patreon. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's get straight into the reading from June 29th, No Excuses from the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. It is possible to curb your arrogance, to overcome pleasure and pain, to rise above your ambition, and to not be angry with stupid and ungrateful people. Yes, even to care for them. Marcus Aurelius Meditations 8.8 Quote, I was just born this way. I never learned anything different. My parents set a terrible example. Everyone else does it. What are these? Excuses that people use to justify staying as they are instead of striving to become better. Of course, it's possible to curb our arrogance, control our anger, and be a caring person. How do you think others do it? Certainly their parents weren't perfect. They didn't come out of the womb incapable of ego or immune to temptation. They worked on it. They made it a priority. They solved it like they would solve any other problem by dedicating themselves to finding a solution, making incremental progress until they did. They became who they are, just like you can. Lots of nuggets of wisdom in there. One, one point I might start with is this, there's a hyper, I don't know, almost like a, I hate the word toxic. There's an intense culture perhaps in the YouTube sphere, on the online sphere, also obviously in real life, this productivity push, no excuses, work your butt off, get there, no time for complaining, no time for anything, stop whining, blah, 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 blah. Now, obviously, there's value in that ethos, this idea of no excuses, although sometimes that can get in the way of us using wisdom and insight to actually change the way we relate to things. Now, can you relate to those things? I was just born this way. Nobody taught me how. Everyone else complains. No one else admits their mistakes. My mother does it like this. My partner does it like this. My kid does it like this. My friends do it like this. So why do I have to change? If other people don't, why do I have to change? Now, clearly that's not wise. Clearly that's not in alignment with these stoic virtues. How do we align with these stoic virtues? This idea of no excuses obviously is helpful. Although I want to kind of focus on the, the tension, the resistance, the internal resistance or noise that comes up when we try to implement these things. And a lot of that has to do with self-centeredness, fear, of course, that if we let go or if we allow other people to just be as they are and take responsibility for our own actions – then we won't have control or perhaps we'll be vulnerable or we'll look weak or something like that. And that's just the ego trying to get in the way of you changing. Now, it takes practice, okay? But there is a pathway out of this. As it says in the reading, 
working on it, becoming aware of our excuses is really a big part of that process. Obviously it's not rocket science. So as we've practiced with some of these other readings, how about you get out a piece of paper, write down something you're struggling with or something that you are making excuses for, write out all the excuses. And on the other side of that page, what is it about you and your ego, if you will, or your fears, your self-centeredness, your uh, lack of humility, lack of honesty? What are all the things that you're not accepting about yourself that are hard for you? Write those things down. Try to let them go or at least acknowledge, okay, that that's what you're doing. And usually in that acknowledgement, there tends to be some freedom, some relief, some space to then do the action or behave in the way that we want to be behaving in. Okay. There's three really nice words that come from uh, a world that I participate in often, the, the addiction recovery world that say, rationalize, justify, minimize. So how are you rationalizing your situation? How are you justifying your inaction or your anger or your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your condemnation of others. And how are you minimizing the impact of your behavior? I certainly do that in the way I interact with my children sometimes. I can separate the unacceptable behavior that they're engaging in. That's not okay. How I react to it and how I treat them as a result of that can change. So sometimes I'll justify or rationalize my anger towards them and blame it on them. Now that's not ideal. Okay. I'm a human being. I'm perfect. I'm not perfect. Excuse me. Uh, raising kids is difficult. Although at least I can acknowledge there's this gap Okay, between who I want to be, the type of parent I want to be, how I want to parent, and my actions in certain moments. And sometimes I make excuses for those. Okay, I'm I make excuses in other domains as well. My practice is just to catch myself when I'm doing that, to seek guidance, okay, direction from other people who also help me point out where I'm bullshitting myself. Okay. And that's another way that I I evaluate whether or not I'm making excuses. So maybe you can find someone to help call yourself out on your own BS. That could be another tool you could add into this little tool belt we're building with these ethics and ideals. So I hope you found that helpful. Again, please like this video, share it, comment on it, subscribe to this channel, support us on Patreon, and ask any questions that you may have. That would be greatly appreciated. Once again, this is Mike Stroh, the Starts With Me channel. Today was June 29th from the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. No excuses. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content. And otherwise, have a great day. Peace out. <laughs>